Going into part two of the microbiome connection, your gut has millions and millions of immune cells, more immune cells than anywhere else in your body. The intestinal immune system encounters more antigens, which are toxins or other foreign substances that induce an immune response than any other body part. And that's because you're bringing the outside world into your body by eating. You need defenses. Your gut is also home of the body's largest microbiome. This microbiome ideally contains a healthy balance of bacteria as well as fungi, parasites, viruses, and archaea, which are single-celled organisms. They're like methanogens, which produce methane gas by a metabolic byproduct. Uh, these microbes live throughout your digestive system. They live in your mouth and in your intestines, and they have different functions and interactions. If the delicate balance of the microbiome is upset, for example, by food poisoning or excessive bacteria in the small intestine, which is SIBO, um, you may develop IBS. Everything you eat affects your microbiome. Various dietary patterns shape the microbiome and can lead to differences in immunity. A more diverse gut microbiome can lead to a more robust, adaptable immune system. The wide variety of protective bacteria strains already found in your gut were partly passed down from your mother at childbirth. Antibiotics, diet, infections, and other factors may reduce their abundance, but these bacteria are usually not completely eradicated. It's important to nurture and reinforce a healthy gut microbiome. There are numerous beneficial functions of a healthy gut microbiome. Gut microbes modulate other bacteria and facilitate the extraction and fermentation of dietary fibers. They generate heat and can change your basal metabolic rate, or your BMR uh, for short. They also produce vitamins and are mediators of peptides, which are small proteins, which play key roles in regulating the activities of other molecules, modulating immune responses and influencing other bacteria. The way in which the microbiome interacts with the body is important to gastrointestinal function. Your microbiome contains five specific components that promote health and ward off disease. Diversity of bacteria and fungi in the gut, differing types of bacteria are positioned strategically throughout the gut. The number and composition of bacteria, the number of each microbe is proportional to its roles and functions. You need the right amount of each bacterium for function and harmony. Products of bacteria, it's important to understand that bacteria are not good or bad all the time. It's more about maintaining balance in your microbiome. Then you have resiliency, the microbiome is like an elastic band that becomes a little less stretchy every time you pull on it. So there's a lot of different things going on in that microbiome. Again, more information is going to be found on that blog, so give it a read.